First Lady Melania Trump headlined a Your Voice, Your Future Town Hall at the Westgate Hotel that focused on fighting the opioid crisis that's damaging so many lives right here in our community and in communities all over the country. Our parent company, Sinclair Broadcast Group, hosted that town hall. Mrs. Trump talked about what her husband, President Donald Trump's administration, is doing to try to bring down those opioid deaths in our country. News 3's Steve Wolford gives us a wrap-up of the town hall and what she had to say. First Lady Melania Trump wanted to personally deliver her message about the opioid crisis in America and explain, among other things, why things need to be done to lift the stigma with opioid addiction. The First Lady received a warm welcome from hundreds gathered in the Manilow Theater at the Westgate. She told the crowd, many of whom have had their own personal struggles with the opioid crisis, that America is in the throes of its worst drug crisis in history, and the time to end it is now. I know we can make a real difference and save lives. I do believe we can be known as the generation that ended the opioid epidemic. Mrs. Trump also encouraged parents to start talking with their children about the dangers of opioids and addiction early. Because nowadays the children are so smart and they're so, uh, the, the life is such fast life and they, they, they have access to everything, uh, the media, the technology. So they're aware of it and we need to teach them in early early age how dangerous drugs are. Westgate President David Siegel says he's especially grateful for the First Lady's efforts because for him, the opioid crisis is extremely personal. As you know, three and a half years ago, I lost my beautiful 18-year-old daughter, Victoria, to a drug overdose. And her legacy is going to be that, that because of her death, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people are going to live. Others, like L.J. Harness, are hoping today's town hall will save someone from addiction, which led to him being homeless 21 years ago, and he supports the First Lady's efforts. I'm going to support my president and the First Lady, and anything they're doing to help my family, any of my friends, I'm going to stand up for them. Many of the people in attendance today say they were also grateful that the First Lady put the spotlight on this problem, and they hope that her efforts, as well as the administration's, are successful going forward. In Las Vegas, Steve Wolford, News 3. Steve, thank you. If you missed the Your Voice, Your Future Town Hall, there's another chance for you to see it. We are airing it on News 3 this Saturday at 6.30.